Hi, hello and welcome to another video by the scientist formerly known as Nigelli. If you also would like to transfer pictures to Sotokens like this one, then this video is for you. I will show you two ways how to fix the pictures onto the Sotoken. One way is with etching, the other one is using ink. But first, let's remove the ink from the soda cans. I already posted a video how to remove the ink from soda cans. Just follow the link in the upper right corner. Then you need a black and white picture that you want to transfer to the soda can. I downloaded my picture from Mount Rushmore from the internet. Then fix transparent self-adhesive film over the picture. The quality of the film does not matter. You can even take transparent duct tape but you have to use a laser copy or a copy from a copy machine. Inkjet does not work. Use scissors to cut out the first picture you want to transfer. Now comes the magic. Just place the picture in hand warm water for about 7 minutes. After 7 minutes the paper is soaking wet. Take the picture out of the water and place it on a flat surface with the paper side facing against you. Gently start rubbing the paper to remove it step by step. The magic thing here is that the ink will stay on the adhesive film but the paper is removed. The important thing here is that you do not use too warm water because then the ink will be washed off also. The second thing is you have to be patient and maybe repeat the step various times until all the paper is removed. Then gently dry your adhesive film until you feel that it starts sticking again. Stick the picture to a soda can where you have removed the ink. For the next step we need a soldering iron. With the hot tip of the soldering iron we follow the silhouette of the picture. The hot tip of the soldering iron will melt the plastic foil and will act like a knife. Then you need a sharp object to gently remove the part that you have cut out with the soldering iron. Repeat this step until you have all the black parts removed. In fact, you have now generated a stencil on the soda can like for a spray painting. You can now fill in the open part of the stencil with the adding. The advantage with the adding is that you can easily remove it with nail polish remover if you don't like the result. Other possibilities are Tipex or nail polish. But initially I will show you how to transfer the picture with the etching procedure. From a 12 volt battery you take the negative lead and connect it to the soda can. The positive lead is uh, connected to a cotton pad. The cotton pad thereafter is wetted with a solution that you prepare using salt and vinegar. Then place the wetted cotton pad onto the can and without creating a short. You can even hear the process of etching and the cotton pad is getting a little bit warm. After around 10 seconds you can take away the cotton pad and check your etching result. If you're satisfied with the result, just move on to the next spot until everything is covered. Then comes the moment when you can remove the adhesive film and check your final result. As previously said, I will also repeat the transfer procedure with nail polish. Here I chose a black one. As soon as the ink has uh, dried, uh, you can start gently removing the stencil from the soda can. 
the result is much more darker. And here you have the comparison between the one with etching procedure and the one with the color. And here on the right side the result with the adding. And if you like that project, how to transfer pictures to soda cans, then give me a thumbs up, check out all my other videos and subscribe to my channel.